this is a, another new unboxing and this time um, fine enough it's actually an iron and it's a Russell and Hobbs light and easy um, iron now basically we had to get a new iron because the other one stopped turning on now I even changed the fuse still refused to work so my guess is um that it's probably something to do with the element and then what and I was gonna try and repair it but it's it's got one in them um I think you need a tri wing screwdriver which I don't have and so the by the time you end up spending a kit for one of them for the very different size of screwdrivers you may as well um get another one. Um the other one funny enough was a um Russell and Hobbs so um we wanted to uh, to get um well we wanted to get um a brand name one so um I know that there are you 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 can get very expensive irons out there but you know sometimes you just want something just to do the job so so to speak so here we are as you can see here it's a Russell and Hobbs it's a two it's a two thousand two hundred watt I do I think it's I think it's it is higher than our old one, which I don't know what that was, but I definitely think this one is um, a lot more. And it says here it's a 100 grams steam shot, um, 30 gram continuous steam. It has a non stick um, plate, and it says oh, it also, and then it's an up to a three year guarantee, which you have to do online these days. So, um, that's kind of um great. See, 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 see anything on here? It says auto steam technology. Just select your temperature and go. The, the two thousand two hundred watt with one hundred gram steam shot and thirty gram continuous steam non stick sole plate for smooth ironing and a two meter power cord. Now um. When it comes to some iron, I'm, I'm, I'm a stickler with irons where it, you get some of the um, irons I've used in the past where the actual plate of the iron is kind of really rough and you, so when you're going across shirts or any material like that, you're not getting this kind of a smooth drive as you're going along the material of the, whatever it is that you're ironing. So I'm hoping that this one is as, is as they promise on the actual box. Um, compared to the other box I had for my old one, this does seem a bit smaller. So we'll, so we will see. So we shall attempt to open this up. Another all um, irons have a thirty amp fuse. So as you can see here, you can see the iron there. It's got it's it's kind of a aqua color. Um, you've got the instructions there. That pretty much tells you the, um, how to use it and then you've got the steam that goes there and you've got steam there and then you've got the spray there obviously you open the face of the, um, of, uh, that to pour in the water so um and then you've got all the important things that you should do do not leave the iron unattended unplug unplug iron before filling and before cleaning and after use, don't operate apply to dropped or damage if it malfunctions or leaks. If the cable is damaged, return iron to avoid hazard. So you've got all these important safeguards here. And then you've got the preparation, filling, switching on, the temperature setting guide, the shooting of the steam, spray, vertical steam, after use, cleaning, anti-scaling. So yeah, you've got, this is quite handy, uh, hand instructions. So if you do decide to purchase one of these things, you can um, do these things that at your leisure. And then you've got the service in there and then the guarantee there. So we'll take the iron out. There is something that comes with it there, but I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's for a standoff of some kind, so I, I haven't got a clue. Again, if I have to look into the instructions, um, at my own leisure to find out what this actually does. Or maybe you or people out there maybe already know what that does. It probably, probably is a stand of, of, of some kind, but I don't know. And then we have the iron itself. This box at the wound. As I can see, it's a um, aqua color. There, it's definitely um, smaller than my previous iron. There, and a little bit lighter too. But as I said before, as long as it does the job. And then you've got the face there, where obviously you've got the um, 
the face the sole face plate um the old the old irons i used to have back in the past back in the 80s the ones that we used to use they were they had a much more um shinier surface and i kind of actually prefer those ones and then you've got your um you've got your verticals you've got your spray in the water and you've got your vertical steam obviously that's the indicator to, to show that it's on you've got there that's your um temperature gauge there so you've got the little notch there so that's on one and obviously that will be on two and that's on that that would be on three and then you get the steam and then you've got maximum there and then well open the front here as you can see there that's where you would obviously would, that's where the, the spray of water come from and obviously the steam from the sole plate and then obviously you've got where you would play water um that you pour into the water so Obviously, it says they pour in, pour the water in before you turn it on, and obviously after use, make sure you, you pour the water out because obviously lime scale can actually build up inside of the infirmary. And then obviously, if you've got white shirts and you're using the steam, then that can actually dirty up um, any white clothes that that you may have. So that's that done there. And then as it says, it says here, you've got um, a two meter cords that should be long enough and um, from where your plug is to your ironing board so that's quite handy um i know I, years ago i did have this iron where if you actually left it it actually it, it used to cut itself off so that in case obviously you you forget that you put the iron on and then you obviously you don't want to end up burning out but burning out time but the last the previous iron and this iron don't have I, I, I don't have that feature so obviously make sure you always have your iron plugged out and i suppose it's a feature that is mostly in the um the more expensive model of irons where they've got that safety feature for it to cut out so yeah i'm moving across on this my on this thing here and it's kind of it's quite smooth so um yeah i'm just glad to be able to have an iron again so i can iron out my um clothes so yeah and obviously you've got the cable there where obviously they've got a special cable there so that um the wires so that the wires don't accidentally burn or cut and then obviously you end up electrocuting yourself or causing an electrical fire of any of any kind so yeah this is the Russell and Hobbs light EG to um, 2200 watt um, kettle at the moment now um, this was purchased from Argos and usually it goes for a price of 18 pounds but um, I know um, for the past few weeks they've actually been selling it for 13 pounds and I think that's a little bit of a bargain so from 18 pounds down to 13 you're saving yourself five pounds um, five pounds so if you're Ironing, if your iron is on its last legs or maybe you're even looking for an iron as a backup in case um you need one just in case you're on breaks i would say pick this up for 13 pounds um you save yourself for five pounds so that's um and obviously it's a brand name so for 13 pounds i would say you can't go wrong in that price so yeah that's my um unboxing Anyway, um, I hope people found this video informative. Um, feel free to like and to to, to like this video and also to share because that also helps people find me about on YouTube. Because obviously, me not being a big YouTube um channel and um the YouTube algorithms. Also, if you haven't, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Take care. Bye for now, and stay safe.